Hey everybody, I'm Mark Garcia of McCormick Kitchens and I want to show you how to make seafood simple. Now seafood's a wonderfully healthy alternative to beef and chicken, yet for some reason people still aren't making it at home. We hear lots of reasons why, but the most common is that people think it's just too hard to make. But with McCormick products, it really isn't. In fact, it can be simple. For instance, McCormick seasoning mixes take the guesswork out of cooking seafood because of the high quality, field fresh herbs and spices that are perfectly blended to help you enjoy cooking seafood just like a pro. And there's no simpler way to bring an irresistible seafood dish to your dinner table than by making this delicious tomato basil salmon. The refreshing pairing of tomato and basil makes this a wonderful dish and while wild salmon season is during the summertime, you can easily have this dish available any time of the year. The taste is clean and light and you'll have your family asking for seconds. Nobody will ever guess that it only took you 15 minutes to make. Preparing seafood at home is easy with McCormick's seasoning mixes. The all natural, field fresh herbs and spices that you can actually see are perfectly blended so you can forget about all of the tedious prep work. Now, all you'll need for this tomato basil salmon recipe is one package of McCormick seasoning mix, one pound of salmon fillets with the skins removed by the way, and about a tablespoon of olive oil. There you have it, the classic combo of tomato and basil with a beautiful piece of fresh salmon. Now let's get in the kitchen and get started. You're going to want to start by preheating your oven to 400 degrees. Now take your seasoning packet, these are simple easy to open. And you're going to want to pour that into a shallow baking dish, just like I have here. So brush the fish gently with the olive oil. You can see it doesn't need much. And then you're going to want to coat both sides of the salmon in the seasoning mix. You can see how it's very easy to handle the fillets. You want to evenly coat it. And we'll put them right on our foil lined baking tray. Now, you don't have to use all of the seasoning mix, but once you've seasoned it the way you like, some people like a little bit more, some people like a little less, you can discard the rest away in the garbage. Now next, you put the seasoned fish in a single layer on a foil lined shallow baking pan, and we're going to pop this in that 400 degree oven for about 10 minutes or until it flakes easily with a fork. While that's cooking, let's talk salmon. It's a fish that has plenty of protein and omega-3s, which makes it an excellent choice for anyone looking for a healthy alternative to beef, chicken, or takeout. Choosing good salmon is actually pretty easy. Ideally, the first step is finding a really great local seafood department. Your local supermarket or the fish department at your local grocery can be an excellent source here. Now the seafood clerk, they should be able to properly handle, ice, and display all varieties of fish. But more importantly, they should also be able to answer any basic questions that you have regarding the origin and quality of the fish or shellfish that they're selling. Now you're going to want to look for fish that has a great overall appearance. You want something that has no cuts, no bruises on the flesh. If the fish has its head on, you're going to want to look for clear, bright eyes because those are good indicators of a fresh fish. And the gills should also be bright pink to maroon. Now once you get home, store the seafood in its original package in the refrigerator and prepare that seafood within three days. Otherwise, be sure to freeze the salmon when you get home from the store. The seafood clerk can give you some wax paper to wrap it up and keep it inside the freezer. Okay, it's been long enough. Let's check on our salmon in the oven. Ah, that just smells terrific. Those salmon fillets look wonderful. Look at all those herbs and spices. Now remember, the fish is done when it flakes easily with a fork. And you can see this one is just flaking beautifully. Matter of fact, let's take a bite right here. That smells terrific. Salmon is nice and moist. The herbs, all of the flavorings there, that's terrific. I'm Mark Garcia of McCormick Kitchens, and this is a mouth-watering tomato basil salmon, and that's seafood made simple.